new health care reform can get so heated? We've seen those town hall meetings which turned into shouting matches with citizens venting outrage. Remember this? I don't believe this is just about health care. It's not about TARP. It's not about left and right. This is about the systematic dismantling of this country. I'm only 35 years old. I have never been interested in politics. You have awakened the sleeping giant. We are tired of this. This is why everybody in this room is so ticked off. I don't want this country turning into Russia, turning into a socialized country. So you heard it right there. While you've been hearing this is about health care reform, is it really all about health care or is something else at play? The debate is even dividing families like the Woodhouse brothers. Brad is communications director for the Democratic National Committee. Dallas is the North Carolina state director for Americans for, for Prosperity, a group devoted to limited government. Also joining us this morning, our man down the middle, Mike Allen, is chief White House correspondent from Politico.com. Gentlemen, good to have all of you with us this morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Dallas, I want to start with you. Is this real? Is the concern out there, and we should point out too, not all these town halls got heated, but is the concern out there really about health care or is there a larger issue? Well, I think the issue is whether we are going to have a free market health care system or a complete government takeover of health care. I believe it actually very much is about health care. It is a very personal issue to people all over this country, and they do not trust the government to take over health care. The difference between people like my brother and I is my brother thinks that the administration can do a better job than some other administration running the health care system where we are just trustful of any government, same government that can't get water to thirsty people in a hurricane, running the health care system. So you, so you don't want any government intervention at all. You say, though, this is really all about the health care, but we just heard that woman mention the fact that she's concerned about things like TARP. She went on to mention the Constitution uh, later on. Uh, Brad, is there an understanding among Democrats that this may, in fact, for some people, be about more than health care? It may be about the president himself. <laughs> Well, look, I think there's some confusion out there. I think there are a lot of people who have, who have legitimate concerns who are coming to these, uh, to these town hall meetings. But let me just say this, for groups like my brothers uh, and, and groups that are allied with him and people like Senator Jim DeMint from South Carolina, they have one goal. Uh, and that it seems to me, and that is to break the president, as Senator DeMint has said. There was a conference call with groups like my brothers this week that said they didn't want any reform that the president could sign. So it wasn't about trying to get this in a place that they liked. They wanted to make sure that the president failed, much like Rush Limbaugh said earlier this it's year. It's not so shocking I do think that you brothers have different views here, I'm going to point out. Right. <laughs> Mike, I want to bring you in, though, uh, because because you are, uh, you are at the White House. You see how they're dealing with this every day. Have you noticed a change in the president's message, a change in the way the president is going about this because of the reaction that we've seen at these town hall meetings over the last couple of weeks? <clears throat> Erica, there certainly has been, and I'm just sitting here Imagining what the Woodhouse Thanksgiving is going to be like. <laughs> loud. It's very um, loud. And you're welcome to go. Uh, the White House recognizes <laughs> that their initial message that these were extremists at these town meetings who'd been put up to this would not fly. What we're seeing is that these are people who have had bottled up frustrations who are letting them out about the cost of government, about the reach of government, about the sweep of President Obama's mandate. And you can turn people out, you can put people on a bus, but you can't get people to speak with this kind of passion. So what the White House hopes is that people will use this uh, few weeks this month to vent. There are 500, if you can believe it, Erica, 500 more of these town <laughs> meetings in the rest of the month. And then they hope that when members get back to Washington, they'll be able to talk about an end game. But I can tell you, this has been a break. Whatever the president signs will be much smaller than what he initially hoped for. And that I is something we're all going to be watching. We only have about 15 seconds left, so if you Woodhouse brothers can split that, go ahead. I'll just well, say I this. Just say, I, want, I, just I want the president to succeed at health care reform, but with the free market. And what my brother ought to do is we need picnic table summit number two, me and my brother sitting down <laughs> with the president. We'll have a beer, and I'll talk to the president about free market reforms. <laughs> tax savings accounts, buying insurance across state lines. We've Come heard on, brother, this. set it up. We, Picnic hey, table hey, summit. Right, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas you got to give Brad his, his time, too. Are you we, up for the look, beer we've, summit? We've heard 
Erica, we've heard all of this stuff before. This was stuff that was proposed over the past eight years. More people lost insurance. More people were denied for pre-existing conditions. But, uh, deep down, my brother doesn't want the president to be successful at anything, if he would be honest about it. I want him to be successful at free market reform for health care, giving more people power and not raising taxes in a recession. And, and we can do it through the picnic table summit. Brad, we're gonna, come on. We're going to have to leave it there. You we'll call it. Erica, I wish everybody you. at your Thanksgiving good luck at getting a word in edgewise. <laughs> Obviously, Thanks, it's going Erica. to be a heated, animated holiday. Thanks. Good that you two love still you, love brother. each other very much, though. Hey, Mike, it was great to have you here. Thanks for weighing in, too. <laughs> Happy weekend. Good luck refereeing.